Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Ticket. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the wireless DeX functionality that is only found on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series. So here's my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and here's a TV, and the phone is wirelessly casting wireless DeX onto this LG TV. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up and what are the things you can do. And you can see that we're also getting notifications both on the decks and on the phone as I'm getting them. All right, so let's dive in. Again, no other phone can do this as of now. Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, this one happens to be an LG TV and I'm gonna connect that phone to this TV using wireless DeX. So let's dive in and get started. Let me show you how all this works together. So I'm gonna to go to my phone, all right? And what you wanna do is you wanna pull down the notific notifications panel right over here, as you can see. You wanna swipe over till you find DeX. Now when you click on it, it's gonna go into the search mode. It's gonna be looking for a TV to connect to. Now with the LG TVs, you have to first configure it so it accepts the screen share option. So it's very easy. Here's the remote control. I simply tap on the input tab and then go into the screen share option as you can see right over here. I'm gonna click that and that's gonna take me to the screen share option. Now, as soon as I do that, here's the funny thing. On my phone, I do get a prompt that's asking me, do you want to start Samsung DeX on the LG WebOS TV, which is this TV right here. Now I'm gonna cancel this. I do wanna show you guys this screen. As you can see, it says Samsung DeX. It wants to connect wirelessly to a TV that actually supports wireless DeX connection. Now most modern TVs, Samsung TVs, LG TVs will connect. And if you're having some trouble, you simply click view more information to get some more details. Now, in my case, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap on the LG Web OS TV and I'm gonna say start now and take a look at what happens on the TV. I tapped on start now and boom, the Samsung DeX functionality starts right over there. Now, if you look at my phone, it is just sitting there. I can make phone calls. I can do whatever I want on the actual smartphone right now. You know, I can go over here, read my messages, swipe up and down, whatever. Now, what I can do is I can use the phone as a trackpad to actually control the TV. To do that, I'm gonna swipe it down and there's gonna be a couple of prompts. So over here, you can see it says Samsung DeX is running. And if I keep going down, you'll see we have use your phone as a touchpad functionality. And also on the top, we have the smart things that pops up. Now, if I tap on this one, it allows me to send my audio straight to the TV, which is great if I'm watching some videos. So anyway, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, use your phone as a touchpad. Take a look at what happens. The phone has now turned into a touchpad and there's a mouse icon right over here, as you can see, okay? Now, when I come back here and I put my hand on the phone, and just move it around, the pointer actually works with my finger, as you can see. So that's absolutely fantastic that I'm using the built-in computer on the actual phone, on the TV, wirelessly. And because I'm running a very high quality network, there is barely any lag. And of course, this is your typical DeX interface. At the bottom, we have some uh, notifications, the time, the battery of the actual phone is right there. Okay, that's the screenshot button. Uh, over here, we have some of our applications, My Files, Internet, Play Store. At the bottom, you know, we've got the start button that goes into the applications. And then we have the recents, uh, this one, recents, home and back button. Now, let me just go back here to my phone, which is right over here, and just show you a little bit of what you can do on the actual screen. All right, so I'm sitting right over here. Here's the phone. Let's do some controlling over here. So that's the mouse. Again, I'm using this as a touchpad. 
I'm gonna go over to my gallery real quick, right here, double tap on the phone, and that's gonna launch the gallery. And I can go back over here and I can actually maximize this if I want to, okay? Just to show you what's happening. Then I can click on the folder here and I can tap and see my photos, okay? So that's fantastic. Now I'll show you one more thing. I can use multi-touch gesture so I can pinch in and out to zoom in and zoom out on the photo. Look at that. That's absolutely fantastic, okay? It's a seamless way to work with your uh, wireless decks. Now I'm gonna go to the top. I'm just gonna go, actually, let me show you one more thing. I can swipe over with two fingers to go to the next photo, okay? Just like this. So that's great as well. Now let's go up here, okay? I'm just gonna X this out real quick. That's the desktop right there. Now what if I wanna right click? All now, what if I want to right click on the actual desktop? All I do is I double tap this and let go and the right click menu pops up. From here, I can go again using the trackpad on the phone. I can go to wallpaper and I can change my wallpapers right from here, okay? That's also quite fantastic. All this is happening wirelessly. Let's go to the home screen, uh, set the wallpaper. That's great. Now we have a brand new wallpaper. And again, if I go down over here, at the corner, I can tap here. These are all my applications. Over here is the button that allows me to exit the DEX mode, as you can see. But I can access all these applications, no problem. Here's the Geekbench, okay, uh, application. And if I were to go to history, you can see that the Geekbench uh, score for this phone is pretty good. That's 967 and 3188 multi and single and then i can put this down i can minimize it if i want to and they all go down over there and over here we have a bunch of other options i can access and again i'm controlling this using the phone as a trackpad i can control the volume uh, take a screenshot of the entire screen get saved uh, i have the wi-fi stuff right over here these i've got my clock right over here if i click it it expands a little bit I can go to quick settings and all that good stuff. All right, so that's just fantastic. Let me just go to the settings. Let's see how that looks like. Double click. So these are the settings. On the top, you've got the Samsung deck settings. Now, even though I'm using this as a trackpad to control the TV wirelessly, uh, the Samsung DeX functionality, I can also attach a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, and then I can just keep using my phone at the same time use DeX with a mouse and keyboard. But right now, this just makes it very easy to demonstrate. This is just amazing. Now, while I'm in the actual DEX mode, the wireless DEX mode, I can always come back here. Okay, just pull this up, double tap this. Just tap it once, the recents button. Uh, wait, let's bring it up. There we go. And that's gonna make sure that I exit the trackpad mode so I can use my phone, keep the DEX running in the background, no problem and I can use my phone as long as I want. And then when I, go, when I wanna go back into my trackpad desk mode, I just go over here, go up, and it's right there. It says, use your phone as a touchpad. You tap on it, boom, back in business. By the way, I can rotate this just like this and use it like this. So that's fantastic as well. Any way that you like, it rotates automatically. Oops, let me put that back here. All right, so that's it. That's a quick look at the wireless DEX functionality and how it works. Make sure your TV is compatible to accept wireless connections. Like I said, most modern TVs are gonna be good to go, but you're gonna have to find how to get it done. On my TV, like I said, I had to go into the inputs and choose screen share, and this is an LG TV. I had to choose the screen share option. All right, that's the input I chose. And make sure, of course, your TV is connected to your local Wi-Fi and so is the actual phone so that they can talk to each other. All right, let's exit this real quick. Look at that, the phone is here, the desktop is there, amazing. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video.
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.